Well, Gareth, uh, thoughts on the same uh, current daily on the show, guys? Absolutely delighted to get about it. I you know, spoke with a in depth there uh, from the game last Tuesday, and you know, I'm really, really happy to be here. And hopefully, you can kick on now throughout the season and bring it on and make sure I get some game time. And hopefully, have Chloe and get the league back up here. Hopefully. And uh, did the loan move uh, help in your decision to come here? Yeah, it did. Uh, the European run as well helped, you know, the Maribor game especially. The feeling after the game was, was unbelievable. It's been the highlight of my career so far. And, you know, for that day and now, as it did, it would have been a shame. I'm glad it would have given me the opportunity to come back down here and kick on and, you know, repay Oren and the staff and the boys and the belief they had in me bringing me in for the European game. So I'm really looking forward to it now. And Oren told me he's going to be uh, second year with games. Uh, that must be music for your ears. Yes, especially the last couple of seasons I've had, and last year especially with injuries, and game time was limited, and the games that have come in and played I've really, really enjoyed, and I'm really looking forward to it, yeah. And you feel ready now to be number one? Ready, I have been. I've been ready since I was a kid, you know, playing games you always want to play, and just the situation um, at other clubs it didn't come around too often, so I'm just thankful they won't give me the opportunity now to do that, and hopefully I can repay them. And finally, you had a successful time in Linfield, and you want to replicate that here? Yes, 100%. You know, on a few trophies at Linfield. I know the, the Gibson Cup's a big one down here, and hopefully this is the season that we can do it and be a massive achievement for the club and everyone associated with Corian to get down here. And hopefully, come May, there'll be a big party out there and everyone looking forward to it. And Oren, are you delighted to get your man? Um, absolutely, and I think when. You, you know, we've paid great respects to Chris, and, and Chris at this club for the last five years has been. Um, a, a strong foundation probably of, of the progress that the club has made and um, and I think and particularly in Northern Ireland of of that age or whatever else there's not a huge there's not a huge amount of, of, of goalkeepers about and particularly ones of, of the quality um, that you would want and um, and I think for when Chris arrived with us to when he left um, people can say all they want about myself and, and, and Michael Doherty worked strongly with them and everything else but to me a big part of Chris's learning took place out on the pitch um, and I think the development we all watched as Corey and people watching Chris develop was all about uh, he was a different goalkeeper after 30 games, after 60 games, after 90 games and he just got better and better and, and I think that's the, the strength of, of knowing that you're going to get those games behind you can have a, a profound effect particularly on a goalkeeper um, and I think when you look at Gareth and I've looked at him in, in great depth um, I think as I say it's been injury but even at that it's been unfortunate injury or, or freak injury nearly more than anything else that's really um, halted his career at different stages. Also, I think at a club like Linfield, when you get an injury like that, there's serious competition and they don't have time to wait either. Um, and that has probably hurt him over the last couple of years. Um, technically, in all aspects of it, to me, I put him right up there with probably uh, as good as he is in the country. I think the key thing, and we all have seen it, is in the last couple of years, he just, it's been unfortunate he hasn't been able to put those games together um, through no fault of his own. So, you know, we're looking forward now really to, to, to starting that journey and, and getting those games into him. Um, and I really think the world is his oyster. I think he can go really, really high because he's, he's a great age, great temperament. You know, Doc speaks massively highly of his attitude to training and everything else. Um, and I think we've got a real cracker here. And how would you sum up your transfer business in general? Um, yeah, it's been a good summer and, and a long summer probably. The, the window's been strange this year, the fact that it's it's gone right till uh, October time. And it's also strange because the league hasn't started yet. Normally um, the window shuts at the end of August, but we've maybe four, three or four games played at that stage and maybe some players get itchy feet or want to move or whatever else. This window's possibly been a bit quieter because um, the season hasn't started so maybe there isn't that unsettlement of players or players who are, who are wanting to move so um, with what's gone out for us and with the size of the squad that we have I think we're quite content with where we sit at this point in time and, and we're looking forward to getting started.